The National Labour Party was formed by Australian Prime Minister Billy Hughes in 1916 following the 1916 Labour split on the issue of World War I conscription in Australia. Hughes had taken over as leader of the Australian Labour Party and Prime Minister of Australia when anti-conscriptionist Andrew Fisher resigned in 1915. He formed the new party for himself and his followers after he was expelled from the ALP a month after the 1916 plebiscite on conscription in Australia. Hughes held a pro-conscription stance in relation to World War I. Topic. Formation On 15 September 1916 the executive of the Political Labour League the Labour Party organisation in New South Wales at the time expelled Hughes from the Labour Party. When the Federal Parliamentary Labour Caucus met on 14 November 1916, lengthy discussions ensued until Hughes walked out with 24 other Labour members. The remaining 43 members of caucus then passed their motion of no confidence in the leadership, effectively expelling Hughes and the other members. Hughes and his followers, who included several early Labour leaders, formed a minority government supported by the Commonwealth Liberal Party, led by another Labour dissident, Joseph Cook. Believing the Labour Party was no longer sufficiently nationalist, they began laying the groundwork for a new party that would be both socially radical and nationalist. In 1917, Hughes and Cook turned their confidence and supply agreement into a formal party, the Nationalist Party of Australia. Hughes became the merged party's leader, with Cook as his deputy. Although it was essentially an upper and middle class party dominated by former liberals, the presence of several labor men allowed the party to project an image of national unity. The National Labor Party was never formally constituted itself as a party and had no organizational structure, although some trade union officials and Labor Party branches, particularly in Western Australia and Tasmania, supported it. Topic. Queensland The Labour Party avoided a split in Queensland due to the efforts of T.J. Ryan to minimise losses. Only one member of the state parliament, John Adamson, left the party and initially there was no attempt to create an alternate vehicle at the state level. However in October 1919 Adamson was part of the formation of a party for ex-Labour supporters that used the name. It had no electoral success and soon disappeared. Topic. Western Australia The national labour movement in Western Australia started off as two separate groups, one known as the Labour Solidarity Committee based out of Trades Hall in Perth, and the other known as National Labour and based on the Goldfields. The two merged in April to May 1917, with former Premier John Scadden as their leader. However, by July he was without a seat in Parliament, and the party turned to federal senators Patrick Lynch, Hugh DeLargy and George Pierce for leadership and guidance. Unlike its federal counterpart, it maintained its own distinct identity and structure and worked with the nationalists as coalition partners. A number of Western Australian unions disaffiliated from the Australian Labour Federation to support the national labour movement, most notably those representing the engine drivers, railway employees, boilermakers and carpenters which were powerful in the goldfields. Organisationally, however, the party was believed to be over-dependent on its Senate patrons and struggled to build a genuine extra-parliamentary organisation. The party scored six of 50 assembly seats in each of the 1917 and 1921 elections, and held three of 30 council seats during this period. However, in the 1924 elections, their representation was reduced to one in the assembly and two in the council, many through the defeat of sitting NLP members by Labour candidates. And later that year, what remained of the party was subsumed by the nationalists. Topic. See also Politics of Australia Political parties in Australia